first thing I did was to cut some patterns. These are 3 sixteenths of an inch on each side, narrower than they need to be for a total of 3 eighths of an inch because that's how far it is from the edge of that tip to the center. So when I lay that on there like that, It'll cut it out just at the right size one can hold. So I've got a right and a left, and that's that, and then the front and the back. The front and the back's a little bit smaller. It'll be, uh, hopefully it'll be somewhere around 8 by 10 when we get done. If not, it'll just have to be the size it is. Don't forget the ground wire. Like I just about did. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. this MIG welder to get this thing tacked together just because it's a hell of a lot easier probably wouldn't hurt none if I had a square clamp down so it wouldn't move. That'll make that a hell of a lot easier. Well, so you can see what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing right there. So I'll tack that corner up. Then flip her around and do another side. You just sit right there and keep an eye on me. Make sure I don't screw up.
Maybe the only thing so far off. Question is, is how close to a four by four hole did we get on the bottom? Four. Oh, that's pretty close for this old boy. An eight by ten opening on the top. Pretty close there. And pretty daggone close there. And I wanted it to be five inches tall. And Right there is the five inch mark. You notice we come back and plane with that other side, it's almost exactly five inches. So, that worked out. And there we go. I think it's tacked together. I don't think it's going to fall apart. It's fine for me. I think that's plenty of weld on there, really, for what this is going to be. Welded on both sides like that. It's stuck together. I don't think it's going to fall apart. Yeah, now we'll see about putting a lip on it. Looks like it's running parallel. A little bit sticking out there, a little bit sticking out there. Those are a little bit long, but I thought I could trim them off. It held a lot easier than I could add to them. Put them all three times and it feels too short. If I wanted that to be pretty, I'd go ahead and weld it with a little bit. I don't care if it's pretty. I don't care if it's functional.
Turn a little. Split the difference. Focus, focus, and there's attack weld. Now, I've got them on there in such a manner that I'll have a good place to lay a bead right there, and maybe there won't be a lot of lip. My goal is to have all that bead down in there and not have a big lip here so it'll be fairly flat on top. Yeah, we'll cut them two pieces go in between there, tack them on. Well, I got that all stuck together. Got some of them bigger gaps filled in that water water. I think I'll flip it upside down now and weld these two inch pieces together on the back side. Now we'll flip that back over, weld some of that on the other side. Well, let's see where we're at here. We've got that much done. I'll weld this across here. Go back and finish those two links. And I think, to tell you the truth, other than other than welding these seams together. I still might do that with that wire welder, I don't know. No, I think I'll use this stick. I can... burn that right down in there with that stick welder. Get it good and... get it good and stuck. I have done a few things since the last time I turned on the camera on this project. I 
got all the welding done. <clears throat> got all the welding done on the fire pot. Got the uh, clinker breaker made out of three small pieces of uh, railroad spike. And on the bottom here, I've got the what are referred to as the tuyere or the twier mounted onto the piece of pipe here that I welded on the bottom. Put a couple ears on there to bolt that on. I think that's going to work just fine. Well, after quite a bit of cranking, I didn't get very far. It's kicking my ass. I went up to the, I went up to the auto parts store and got some elbows. See what I can make do there. Is this? just a bit much. Well I think I'm at the point now where I really made to make I really need to make the hearth. So I need to get a piece of plywood for the bedding of it. That'll sit right underneath this lip. That'll sit down inside that. I've got uh, put these couple pieces of muffler pipe here that I can adapt to come down into that like that. I've always got that bolt down there. I can I can make a bracket, weld it up to this pipe where it'll go down and fasten onto that bolt give it a little stability here plus I can fasten this to the end of the uh, fasten this up to the bottom of the hearth I can get this down lower probably to about right there which see if we can see that that gets me quite a bit below the level of that lip so that'll work all right I can just about make that even with the bottom of the hearth where it comes up around I'll just blow her up here and see if I can simulate the blower action Quite a bit of air moving through there. I think it'll work, but I need to I need to make the hearth now, that's all there is to it. So on to the next step.